people, it's me, Anya. Welcome back to my channel. So today's video is inspired by the fact that I haven't been reading very well lately, so I figured talking about new releases would be motivating for me in my reading. When I'm filming this, it's the 14th of August, and I had kind of high hopes for the month of August in terms of reading, not only in terms of like anything else, but in terms of reading, I thought that it would be a solid reading month, and so far it hasn't really been one. So there's that. That is why I haven't, well, I was about to say that's why I haven't uploaded a recent reads video in a minute, but then I remembered that Saturday's video was a recent reads video, even though I'm filming this video like a few days after I filmed my favorite underrated duologies because I didn't want to upload three like recommended reads videos in the same week. So Saturday's video you've already seen, but it's a recent reads video and I haven't filmed that yet, but you've already seen it. That's not confusing at all. Anyway, what I'm trying to say is that I hope that this video is motivating for anybody whose reading has been slower than usual this month or this year or just in general, 2020 is a very like weird, unprecedented time for everybody and it's very like unexpected but we were dealing with it and let me tell you 2020 is also almost over and 2021 better be so much better although 2020 was also like so bad so anything better than 2020 even by a little bit will be better so anyway i hope that this video helps people anyway so the first book on this list is called early departures written by Je justin a reynolds this is a ya contemporary and I'm so, so excited for this book. I think that if this video goes up when scheduled, this book comes out today. So the release date is the 22nd of September. And I'm so, so excited for it because Justin A. Reynolds wrote Officer the Boys, which I loved and I read that last year. So I have high expectations for this book. It follows Jamal, who's after a freak accident, his best friend comes back to life but they only have a short time together before he dies again. So this premise reminds me a lot of The Vanishing Deep, except a little bit less, like, lighthearted, since The Vanishing Deep was specifically science fiction, and this, this is contemporary. I'm assuming that it will be a little bit different, even though the premises are very, very similar. But yeah, I'm so excited for this book. I have very high expectations. Justin A. Reynolds is a very like underrated contemporary author. I think that Opposite of Always was his debut, but still, I am so, so excited for this book, and I hope that it exceeds my expectations and more. The next book on this list is called Sky Hunter, written by Marie Lu. All I know about this book is that A, it comes out the 29th of September, B, it's YA science fiction, and C, I am so, so excited for this book because Marie Lu is truly one of my favorite, favorite authors, and I'm just so, so excited. And I haven't really read anything by her that's science fiction in a minute. I don't think she's written anything that's science fiction in a minute since Warcross and Wild Card. So I am so, so excited for this book because I have no idea what to expect. I did like look up the synopsis on Goodreads, because in order to film this video, I wanted to find out the release dates for each of these books. And the release dates for these books I got from Goodreads. So I did like look at the synopsis, but I couldn't really summarize it in like a few sentences for you guys. So that's why I don't have it ready. But I am so, so excited for this book. And I have really high expectations, but also like lower expectations too. I don't know. I'm really excited is what you need to know. And I hope that this video makes you excited too. The next book is called Clown Chasers. Fortunately for this book, I know a little bit more about it. So this is also YA science fiction, and it also comes out the 29th of September. And I'm really excited for it. So basically, it follows Alyssa, who's trying to outrun her family's legacy. And she's waiting for her grandfather to announce her as heir because she's the last descendant of the family or something. Anyway, but instead of her grandfather announcing her as his heir, he decides that his dying wish 
is to host a clown chase, which is this deadly competition where all these people compete to find the royal seal. And whoever finds the royal seal becomes the ruler of the empire. However, this is the first clown chase in the past seven centuries. So this is a rather like abnormal wish for him to do. But of course they have to go with it because A, that's the premise of the book and B, it's his dying wish. So they go with it. So I'm really excited for this book because I like competitions in fantasy and the last book that I read that had this like fantastical competition in it was House of Dragons and that book was rather disappointing. So I'm hoping that this book will fill the void that House of Dragons was supposed to, you know? Anyway, I'm so, so excited for this. Also, it said on Goodreads that it's queer. So I'm excited for that. Maybe Alyssa is a lesbian. Who knows? Not that she like she has to be a lesbian in order for this book to be queer. Well, obviously, she can be any gender or sexuality other than cishet. That's what queer means. Queer is an umbrella term. Anyway, I'm really excited for this book, and I hope that it lives up to my expectations. The next book on this list is called Anna on the Edge, written by A.J. Sass. This is a middle grade contemporary book, and it comes out the 20th of October, and it follows Anna, who's, who's non-binary, and they're navigating a binary world. I am so, so excited for this book, because I'm always looking for opportunities to diversify my bookshelf, and I realized the other day when I was accumulating books for LGBT History Month because I'm planning to do lots and lots of Pride book recommendations for next month. I realized that I haven't read a whole lot of NB books aside from like I wish you all the best and stuff. So I'm always looking for opportunities to diversify my bookshelf. And this book is middle grade, which I love. I don't think I've ever read a middle grade book stalling an NB character and I just love the idea of a young person figuring out themselves and figuring them out figuring out themselves in a world that doesn't like always accept them and that's something that I can relate to just like from a different perspective but like as a disabled person in a predominantly like able-bodied world like I know that like obviously disability and gender identity are completely different things but at the core they're also somewhat similar because like as a disabled person I'm in a world that was not designed for me even though it should be you know like I think that there should be more things to accommodate people like me and people should be more accepting of disabled people and accepting of NB people but they're not and it's really annoying so anyway I'm digressing I'm really excited for this book but I'm not saying by any means that I can relate like wholeheartedly with Anna because I'm a cis. But I'm looking forward to reading about a realistic portrayal of this, especially since I'm pretty sure the author is also NB. But anyway, I'm really excited for this book. If anything that I said comes off as like transphobic or anything, I'm so sorry. That's not what my intention is. My intention is that I'm just really excited for this book. The last book on this list is called Instant Coma, written by Melissa Mile. This is a YA romantic contemporary. I believe that it's Melissa Mile's contemporary debut because prior to this, she has written only fantasy to my knowledge. I've read the Renegades trilogy by her, and I read Heartless by her, and I read Cinder, but I never completed the Lunal Chronicles, so I DNF'd that series as a whole, but I started with Cinder and I read it. I just never continued the series. Anyway, Instant Karma comes out the 3rd of November, and I'm so, so excited for this book. It follows Prudence, who has the ability to, like, put karma on the people around her, whether it's good karma or bad karma. So I'm excited to see how that will play out in a contemporary setting especially since I'm pretty sure that this book is romantic too. So I'm thinking that if she has the ability to put karma on everything around her, won't like the relationships and stuff around her just go her way? Or is there like a limit to what she can do? I'm confused, but I'm interested. 
so I'm really excited for this book and I hope that it will be really really good I'm always like skeptical but excited when authors of a previous genre try out a new genre so I hope that this genre works well for Melissa Mile so I'm really excited so in conclusion I'm really really excited for all of these books all of the release dates came from Goodreads and they may change because due to COVID-19 uh, some of these new books that have a release date have been changing either being pushed back or pushed like forward so anyway these release dates basically may change by the time that this video is uploaded like I've said about a thousand times before I am pre-filming this video about five weeks in advance so I don't know if these dates have changed by the time that you're watching this video but if they have changed, I'll just change them in the description and I'll check Goodreads for reference. So anyway, if you like this video, please don't hesitate to give it a big thumbs up. Comment down below if you're looking forward to any of these books as well. Thanks for watching and subscribe for new. No, subscribe if you're new for more videos. I can't speak today. Anyway, thanks for watching.